Hey, I'm Gary from Piaget Pirates, York Springs, Pennsylvania. We also have a store in Maryland called All Good Garden Supply. Come check us out if you're in the area. Today we are talking about high CFM poles that are made by Gorilla for Gorilla Grow Tents. Um, they come in a little box like this. Um, you want to make sure when you go to purchase these that you get either the light version or the regular version for your tents because the light version has thinner poles so it's not going to work on the regular size Gorilla Tents. Um, these are used for a lot of different things. Um, over here, we got our tent kicking right now with the ventilation. I got it all the way up high, and the sides are sucking in. And these poles were created for people that can't deal with the walls being sucked into their tents. So um, we're going to hook them up today. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to show you how to use them for other things. And for right now, I'm going to go turn that fan off so you can all hear me better. Yeah, the high CFM poles are pretty cool. They, uh, let's open them up here before we even get going. Pretty much four poles. They get hooked in towards the middle of the tent. You can move them up and down all you want. And I wish they would have caught them the high CFM pole slash trellis net support slash fan mounting poles because they can be used for so many different things. So this is for the 4x4 Gorilla Tent. This is the regular one with the extension on it. So I think they just, they're a good thing to have. They can come in handy just for your trellis or a scrog net. That alone it's awesome for. So I'm going to hook this up and show you how to do that. All right, so you got eight of the little corner things here. You got four poles. They're all the same. So they simply just sit in there. So... But when, once you clip them on, they're not going to come off. Um, let me go ahead and open this tent up here. This is part of our 4x4 Ultimate Grow Tent that we've been piecing together here. This is the one that's got our full, our full Ponic Hydro System in it. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen that thing, you should go look that up. It's on our, on our YouTube channel. Alright. So... With these poles, pretty much, you put one on one end, one on the other. And I will usually take this out of here, but I don't want to move this whole system out of here. I'm getting ready to start some peppers in here. So they snap on, just like that. And then you can slide them up and down, so you can, you can adjust them. Down. All right. Cut. I'm going to go and take this microphone off so I can put the rest of these on here so I don't destroy this phone. <laughs> We're going to clip that right here. All right, before I go put the front bar on, because there's going to be a bar on the front, so this is the one part of it where, yeah, it's going to be in your way possibly, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to make your tent way stronger, and then when you go to do a trellis or scrog, scrog down on there, it's really going to keep the tent from coming in on you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about that for a minute here. We're going to have some peppers in here, and I want them to get really big. So if you help your plants support themselves, they're pretty much going to have more energy into making the fruits and flowers bigger. So we're going to be using the trellis in here. Um, there's multiple ways you can do the trellis. You can use this just without the high CFM poles. And if you use two of these without the high CFM poles, you might start to bend your poles in. Um, I've had a lot of people come in talking about these trellises all different kinds. Um, Gorilla makes makes some nice ones like this, and um, when you get this expanded, the holes are about six six inch by six inch. Some people like to have three inch by three inch holes, but when you put something on a bungee like this, you can't have that much tension 
because if, if these holes were half the size, there would be so much elastic pulling on the poles, it would just dent everything up. So that's why you can only go small, so small on your trellises, your trellis holes, unless you go to nylon. If you go to nylon, then you can do whatever you want with that. You could just uh, zip tie them on here. Um, So yeah, they're going to go on like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and tie these ends on here, which is going to make it even nicer. So now you can come here and you can tie these on so that it doesn't have this going on because I know everybody who use these things knows the half a foot around the edges pretty much there's no holes there so once you zip tie these or ratchet them on or whatever you want to do that's going to make your net fit totally right and then you're going to have your full scrawl going all the way wall to wall, wall scrog. Um, you can also add a second one of these a lot of people will put this down a little bit then add a second scrog net up top so you can kind of train your plants underneath of there, bend them around, and then when they start coming up through, you got the upper level, a second trellis that'll really uh, help keep things supported the right way. All right, I'm gonna get some zip ties. Um, we're gonna zip tie these over here. But anyway, yeah, you get the picture with that. This will really give you the full scrawl effect here. Um, while I'm at it, clip on fans. It gives you a nice place to mount your clip on fans. So something else that's good about that. So what I was saying, these should be called a lot of different things, but high CFM holes, yeah, that's, that's what they were originally made for. But there's so many more use for them. So we're gonna close this up and I'm gonna turn the fan back on and yeah. Um, all in all, the high CFM poles are awesome. Um, I think they're a great addition. I've seen some people buy two sets of them, and yeah, if you get two sets of them, put one down low and one up high, the tent pretty much is indestructible at that point. I've seen people put like an eight inch fan in a tent and actually start ripping the seams out of the tent because it's got so much suction. But once you get the high CFM poles, you can pretty much rock your fan all you want and your fan is going to stay together. So I'm going to zip this back up, turn the fan back on here. So yeah, if you go to buy these from Gorilla, tell them that Gary sent you from PA Hydroponics so they'll get a kick out of that. <laughs> So I'm going to turn his fan back on so we get loud again. By now, it would have been starting sucking already. But there's the pole. So that extends your grow area that much more if having your walls come in annoys you. And yeah, high CFM poles are cool. Just make sure you get the right size. They come in all the sizes. Even the 10 by 10s have them. It's a kit. And it's made by Gorilla Grow Tent. I don't think that I wouldn't recommend trying to fit them on other brands of tents because all the different poles on other brands they probably won't fit right. So I'm not going to try to go there with this. But anyway, I'm glad you have a better understanding of high CFM poles now. And I'm Gary from Piagetronics. Be sure to subscribe and follow us. That motivates me to keep doing these videos. And you have a good one.